Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope wherever you are in the world you're having a fantastic day so far. So um, this is the swatch video. If you're in my other video, um, yeah, to, this is the swatch party. We're doing a few uh, palettes that I got from Shein as well as some which I picked up from Shop Miss A, almost said AliExpress. So they had that Shop Miss A came out with these little um, quad palettes which look cute and but we haven't swatched them at all so we're just going to swatch these and yes I still have the um, eyelashes on which I tried on in the, well you didn't see me um, try them on because I was scared I was going to stab myself in the eye but yeah they're magnetic lashes I am not used to having lashes on uh, if, if I blink a lot it's because of the lashes so we're just going to get on into it. I'll leave these for last. And I'm going to start us off with this um, She Glam Thin Within palette. Now I have photos of these up on my um, Instagram if you'd like to check that out. That's salty underscore Yurio. Very, very beautiful color story we have there. Very, very nice. Some of these are glitter shades. If you know me, you know I'm not a fan of glitter shades because they get into my eyes, as did some eyeshadow from my previous video, if you wanna check that out. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna start off going left to right, and we're going to start off with the glitter shade, it looks like, called Aqua Glam. Yes, yes, this is a glitter shade, as is the second one, which is Glass Flipper. We're going into Guilty Pleasure and then Deep Blue. This is Aqua Glam, followed by Glass Flipper. I like how the names are like um, playing on uh, Cinderella. This is Gil, as in Gil T Pleasure. And this last one here is Deep Blue. Hmm, not too sure about those. Not too sure about those at all. Again, deep blue. That looks like a gray. Hmm, be right back. Okay, we're back. I got the other light on to see if it looks any better. We're just gonna take a look at these two here, Guilty Pleasure and Deep Blue. The problem with these shades, oh, they look nice like that in that light, yes. Hang on, come on, Shein. But, oh my God, they look patchy as swat. Mm. But when I showed you that, that they looked stunning, but yeah. deep blue, I don't think so. And I think it's the formula, this formula, mm -mm, not working for me. Look at this. This is, it looks more like a plasticky, oily type of a situation. Mm. No. Mm -mm. That is not tickling the pickle, as Rebel would say. Not at all. <sighs> and that's just the first row. I hope that things start looking up with this palette. Or oh, this is going in the trash. I'm not playing around. If this doesn't come to the party, in the trash. Okay, we're going second row, um, Just Add Water, which is another glitter shade, followed by Water Orchid, which is, and followed by Bubble Trouble. And that is followed by, a, it looks beautiful in the pan, that yellow shade called Island Fever. Well, let's see if you just give someone a fever, like a COVID fever, because Mm, so far, okay, keep, let's keep our hopes up. Just add water. Yeah, 
not too bad. And this one is Water Orchid. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello. You are slowly starting to redeem yourself. Bubble Trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where it was shit house in the first row, the second row is coming through. Okay, um, whoa, 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 whoa. That island fever shade. Do you see that chunk? Look at that, that fallout off of my finger. Huh. How dare it. <laughs> okay, we're going to swatch now the island fever shade. I really hope this shade comes through. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Second row. Uh -huh. I like that. That's redeemed itself. I don't know what the blazers they were thinking with this row here. That should have been just scratched out and just had... I'd be even happy with a, with a quad with these shades alone. N not so much the glitter with them. They're nice. Okay. Hello. Second row. I should have had a uh, paper towel. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. And I just noticed something. The problem with this shade here is it's like a putty shade. Like, I can dig my finger in there and it gives an indentation. So, yeah, definitely not a fan of that. I don't like putty eyeshadows. So, mmm... Okay, third row, we're starting off with another glitter shade called Hooked On You. Oh, that is very, um, like a, a, a putty. That's, but look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is a glitter shade, but man, that looks nice. Okay, and next one is Swim For The Win. Followed by... Coat tails, C-O-T-E, either someone can't spell or there's a fish called a coat, C-O-T-E. Please tell me if you know there's a fish called a coat. <laughs> and the last shade of this palette is called Grand Finale. And that yellow shade, that stains in the second row. So just, yeah. Okay, Grand Finale. Okay. First one up is this Hooked On You, which looks nice. Yeah, that's not bad. That is very pretty. Followed by Swim For The Win. Ooh, <laughs> hello pigment. Yes, you are redeeming yourself. Very, very nice. And that's followed by Coat Tails. That one's nice as well. And the last but not least of this palette is Grand Finale. Oh, yes, that's a shimmer. That's nice. I like that. So the, these rows are very good. Top row shit. So would I recommend this? Yes and no. Um, if, oh my, yes and no, because, oh my good lordy, look at that. It's just falling out everywhere. But there's a lot of fallout in some of the shades. Not everything, but some of the shades, there are a lot of fallout. I mainly got it because it looks cute. It reminds me of a Nintendo game. So that's why I got that. But yeah, so that's that one swatched. So what did you think of that one? Would you rush out to buy that? I probably wouldn't buy that if I knew that that first row was going to be as bad as that. But it's okay. I mean, the other shades are good. Okay, so far we're not off to a rolling start, but next up is this Centuries palette by She Glam. Now this looks so, so pretty. I just hope it delivers, oh, almost dropped it. I just hope, brush, I hope this delivers and it's better than that. Um, the f what's it called again see it's not that memorable the fin within the fin within and it's got no um it doesn't say what shades these are
Oh yeah, and inside it says, pretty honest. Okay, and I'm being pretty honest with these palettes. Brutally honest, actually. Okay, first shade. Oh, that's great pigment so far. That first shade is coming through. Second. Ooh, hello. Third, which is a greyish tone. Ooh, that's nice. Hmm. Fourth shade is more of a like a very soft matte peach. That would be a great like a base shade. And this fifth shade is a shimmery gold. Ooh, hello, 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 hello. So far so good with this one. We're off to a good start with this one. Okay, second row. Tally ho! Some of these um, shimmers are more satin, more of a satin mix between a matte and a shimmer. And there's a lot less fallout with this as well, which is good. Okay, this first shade of the second row. Ooh, that's nice. That's a beautiful shimmer. Beautiful bronzy olive gold. I like that. That's followed by a, ooh, that looks, in the pan, that looks like it's a, like a gray greenish shade. Hang on, I'm gonna do what Monty did in a minute. This followed by a satin matte. Followed by another matte. Oh, this is killing it so far. And the last colour in that row. Now I'm going to have a look to see if this, this has got to be duochrome. That's got to be a duochrome. Good, good, duochrome goodness. <laughs> now, I wonder how she did it. She, she showed the... This one here. On my skin, it's not showing it properly. On my skin, it looks more brown. But you look at it in the palette and it looks gray, like a gray green. Hmm, I'm, I'm not mad at that, that's beautiful. So there is that one very pleased with everything so far out of this palette. Okay, the last row, the first shade. Second, third, hmm, fourth, and lucky last of this palette is the fifth shade. That's nice. And that's the last. Yes, thank you. I love this one out of that row. But that was that, and that is fantastic quality. For swat, as just going by the swatches, that is fantastic quality. Way better than that. Way better. So, yes, um, if you were to. Think about um, that, what's it called again? The Centuries palette. I would definitely pick that one up. Definitely, definitely pick that one up. Okie dokie. Okay, we're on to the Glitz Wiz palette. Now, this has got a lot of shades, and it's called Brick Lane. got the idiot over the road who can't who just constantly likes to rev his car up 
probably got a small little willy. Okay, there's no, um, what do you call it, word, names of these shades either. That's the first one. Second. Third. Oh. And, oh, hang on. That green though? That is beautiful. I like that. So far so good with this palette. Some of these do stain. Like, I might need to get a new wipeout, I reckon, so a bit manky. Yes, we are where we're situated here. Um, it used to be a quiet neighbourhood, relatively quiet. Now, on either side of us, we've got two idiots that think they're you know shit hot because they've got a no uh, noisy mufflers on their cars their cars are pieces of shit <laughs> but their mufflers are noisy so they think they think they're crash hot I'm like mate it's a what do they call them a bomb <laughs> not the bomb a bomb you know not oh maybe i shouldn't have said that word mm, i shouldn't have said that word i wonder if i could edit it out <laughs> oh well we in australia we say the car's like an old yeah, um, I don't want to get flagged. <laughs> wanna, uh, well, it's not that type of a thing, but yeah, we call it that. Yeah, there's a lot of people around this neighborhood that have old cars, noisy mufflers, and they think they're crash hot. Mm -mm. Okay, next shades. Oh, did you hear that? Do you ever get when your um, chest makes a funny noise? It comes from your sternum and it comes out. <laughs> it wasn't a burp. It's like a, it's like a alien sounding noise. I, I wonder if you heard that. <laughs> I think there's something sort of try like an alien. What do they call it? The face hugger thing that comes out of the chest. <laughs> okay, the last two on this row. Yes, I'm, I'm being crazy. No, I haven't started drinking yet. <laughs> Last two on this row. Oh yes, so far so good. This palette is really looking up. Well, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> oh, clean that. Okay, we're starting on the second row now. Uh, that is a shimmer, but it's very, very light. Maybe use that as a um, in a corner. It's not showing up on my skin tone at all. It's followed by another shimmer. Followed by a black. Oh, okay. That looks like a black matte. Holy, this palette is doing some weird magic. That is a black matte that shows up like a like a deep teal blue green. And next shade is this shimmer. Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. Pardon me. Very similar to this one. But the shade, that I'm shocked at that. Um, I thought that was black, but no, it's uh, it surprises me. So that is the first four in that second row. Going to do the last three in that second row, which are all mattes. Hmm, I'm gonna give this another swatch. Oh my god! I don't know my own, I don't know my own strength. Holy moly. Look, look at that. 
can you see that? Like my fingers like just destroyed it. Okay, it's a putty, a putty mat. Oh my good lord. Huh. It looks like, like, like I've hit pan. But it looks darker in the in the pan than it does on my skin. So far, so good. I'm not, I'm very shocked at um that that green shade just now. And that um black that turned out to be a, like a deep teal blue. Okay, I'm gonna say a lot of these um bronzy shimmers uh they look the same. They they really look the same. Like to me. They look, a lot of these look the same. Okay, I'm just going into the third row now. What I like about this is there's very little fallout. Okay, that's pretty. Oh, that's nice as well. Yeah, these mats are very um, putty-like, like a cream, hard cream almost. That's nice. That is beautiful. And the brown looks like a very light, a very light, almost orangey color. But that was that shade there. Hmm. Like a lot of these shades look um, darker in the pan than they apply on the skin. So again, that's that row. Okay, another mat. I wonder if this one is also one of those putty. Like they look powdery, but then if you put some pressure on them, they just go to, it's like a putty shade. Okay, we've got another dark-ish navy shade there. I wonder what that one will look like, whether it will be an actual black. Okay, first shade in the last row. That's nice. That's almost like that um, darker matte that we swatched. Oh, actually, that is exactly like that other map. We got we got so many of the same colors in here. I'm sure of it. But so far, so good. It's been really nice quality. I actually got this because um, Nikki Murphy did a look with it and looked really nice. Yeah, so um, these lashes aren't bothering me as much now, but it's just the not being used to having lashes on so okay we're going into the last uh three shades of this palette yeah i'm, I'm going to call it these mattes will not probably not apply with a brush um i'll have a look and test it out in a minute that's very nice, a very beautiful shade. Okay, so that's the last row of the Glitz Wiz Brick Lane Palette by She Glam. Okay, that's 
that one. Oh, I'll try it with a brush to see if the brush picks up any of those matte putty shades. I'm not holding out much hope though. I'll be surprised if they do. Oh, hello. <laughs> or is it the fact that it's, um, I used, did use that brush. Okay, uh, just, that's a clean brush we'll just use. That. Yes, it does pick it up uh, very slightly, so hmm, surprised with that. Yes, thank you. Okay, um, next up we have some, oh, I want to clean that. Uh, palettes, little quad palettes from Shop Miss A. Okay, we're just going to start out with this one, which is called the Zinnia palette. These are all mattes, I believe. Yes. These were, I think, a dollar fifty-five or something because they're from the Poor Poor Charity line. Okay, I'm going to go right to left. There is fallout in these palettes can see okay that is some really good pigment so far so good zinnia is a keeper yes I will use her when I do another look. Okay, is that all off? That all off? Yes. Okay, the next one up has some mattes and shimmers. This is the Eden palette. Okay, those two are very much my skin colour, so you can't really see those at all. Oh, that's a very beautiful shimmer. Oh, look at that. Very nice. That is very good quality. I like that. Very, very nice. That is the Eden palette. I will leave a link... Um, to shop Miss A and you can shop your to your heart's content. I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll also put a link to Shein as well. Okay, this one is the palette called Brandy. I think I like this one. Like, it's really nice. I like this, yeah, this one the most so far. We'll see how it swatches though. These remind me of the ColourPop ones that they have, uh, ColourPop has on their website, but just um, a lot cheaper. <laughs> oh yes, that's nice. That shimmer is beautiful, like a pinky ro uh, golden rose. This is beautiful. Very nice. Yes, I would say if you're after some cheap quad palettes, these ones are the ones to get. And this one is Vandella. Hmm. This shade looks interesting. We'll see how that one swatches. Let's clean that off. So far, so good. Not a lot of uh, fallout in this in this um, Vandella palette. Vandella quad, I should call it. I found a good shade here, people. Mm -hmm. 
I found a couple of cliches. <laughs> okay, yes, this is Vandela. This is the first one. Uh, that is a very nice pastel orange, very pretty. This one is the color of my skin. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh my God, look at the sheen, the wet look sheen on that. And that's followed by the last shade. Very, very nice. At the price of these, you cannot go wrong. Okay, so that is the end of this swatch party. Um, if you stayed around, stuck around with me until now, thank you very much. I will leave my link in the description box. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a fantastic day. Bye.